Credit Sesame is what I'll be reviewing today. It is completely free to sign up and Credit Sesame stays free. Hi everybody. If you are a subscriber or a regular viewer of my channel, welcome back. And if this is your first time, welcome. If you like what you see today, please hit that thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, subscribe. I talk about different credit cards and I talk about personal finance. So before we get into this review, I just want to remember to say this. The uh, link to sign up for Credit Sesame will both be in the description of this YouTube video and in the uh, review article I have about Credit Sesame, the pros and cons of Credit Sesame. If you want to sign up, the link for that will be in the article. Today I am talking about Credit Sesame. It's a free credit monitoring service that anyone can sign up for without a credit card. Honestly, I was under the false impression that Credit Sesame was one of those credit monitoring services that is free for the first month and then after that there is a monthly subscription. But that, I'm not buying a home or planning any type of large loan, so I am perfectly content with the free credit monitoring that I receive from my different credit card offers. But, like I said, I did not know that I had an option of another credit monitoring service that would be completely free to me. The folks at Credit Sesame reached out and told me all about the free service that they offer. So this in fact is a sponsored video with Credit Sesame. So this review is just like my other reviews where I talk about the different aspects of having an account and I will show you different screenshots so you have a first-hand perspective of what it's like to actually sign up and use Credit Sesame. So let's get started. What I did was I first signed up online, I went to their website, and then once I had an account set up, I downloaded their app so I have the ability of looking both online on my laptop and also on my cell phone. It's a very easy way to sign in. You can use a four digit pin code or if you prefer you can use a traditional password. You can decide for yourself if you want to sign up for this free service. As you know I like to give you tips and tricks that help you build your credit faster. Monitoring your credit definitely helps and I like to do it in the cheapest possible way. And what is cheaper than free? If you are a person that is right now rebuilding credit and your current credit card or cards do not give you any kind of option to monitor your credit and you have nothing, you can sign up for Credit Sesame for your free account. Or if you have a free, perhaps, or if one credit card company perhaps offers you a free service but the report is through a different uh, credit bureau, you might want to get Credit Sesame because Credit Sesame free reports are done through TransUnion. One thing I can tell you that Credit Sesame told me about my credit history that I was not aware when I was using the other free services that I use was that actually I am doing really bad in one area and that is credit mix. Uh, over a year ago I used Self Lender to help build my credit and Self Lender is an installment loan. Now I got Self Lender to help me with credit mix. All my other lines of credit were revolving lines of credit, credit cards. And I used Self Lender to give a credit mix to my credit report because I wasn't planning to buy a car and I do not plan to buy a home. So I did use Self Lender for credit mix. But according to this now, since it's well over a year, it really has no impact on my credit history at all at this point. So I decided that I will probably look into getting another self-lender loan or another type of installment loan from another company. So you're probably asking how can this stay completely free and quite simply it is free because you do get presented with different advertisements 
along the way and this is how the service is paid for and it can be helpful because once they start monitoring your credit they will present you with different credit card offers these are credit card offers that you're more likely to get approved for they're not guaranteed approval but you are more likely to get approved for these credit cards so if you decide to you have the option of applying for these credit card offers through credit sesame the first level of credit sesame is absolutely free and you don't need to worry it always stays free they don't ask for credit card information nothing like that at all but they do offer different paid services which you can be charged monthly for or you can pay a yearly subscription rate which will give you a small discount so normally i think for most people you do not need anything more than the, what the free credit sesame service provides but if you are looking to buy a home i definitely definitely recommend that you use some sort of paid service credit monitoring service that it has a broader picture of what's going on with your credit this will help you to see any kind of potential problems sooner so you can address them and I would do that 12 months at least before you close on your home and it's also a good way of notifying you faster if you are a victim of identity theft identity theft at any time is bad but obviously during the time you're applying for a mortgage it is a horrible thing to go through so if something like that happens to you you want to be aware of it as soon as possible and that's something I did for myself once upon a time I bought a home and before I bought a home I paid for a more complete in-depth credit monitoring service just to make sure that I had the best possible picture of what was going on with my credit report so that is probably the one time you really want to pay for a service because it can be a difference of saving an extra quarter percent on your mortgage and that's a big deal another quick tip about mortgages and this is something that not everyone knows it's surprising that not everyone knows this but you don't want to have any new credit lines on your credit report during the time you want to apply for a mortgage and oftentimes people get excited when they are about to buy a home they start financing furniture or they decide to get a new car and that is something you definitely don't want to do when I moved into my home it was a new development so everybody in the neighborhood was new and everybody had varying degrees of credit literacy and one of my neighbors in fact did just that they applied for a large line of credit to purchase furniture for their home because well you know I don't have to pay interest for 24 months that's great but that's something you should do after your mortgage closed they didn't know that and that caused problems for when they were in fact closing on their mortgage how much trouble I don't know I'm not a nosy person but it could have resulted in a slightly higher interest rate so do yourself a favor do not apply for anything until that home mortgage is closed so these are the different plans that credit sesame offers the free service and the different paid services One of the perks of having a Credit Sesame account is that they offer some credit protection services up to $50,000. If you're interested in that, just read the terms and service agreement within your account to learn more. So, now you know more about Credit Sesame. You know through my video review and my pros and cons article. So why not give it a shot? As you know by now, it's completely free to sign up. Thank you for watching this video today. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And my next upcoming videos will be about student credit and the Best Buy Visa card. If those topics sound interesting to you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Until next time.